Came out well. That's first time without a white slip on there. That's just the natural clay, the color of the clay with the ash accumulation. Sisters in there. <laughs> I'll be back to get the other one. Tell you, Bill, oh, that's a lot pretty, of work in there. That's pretty nice. Thanks, yeah. yeah, yeah. A, a Thanks, job. everybody. It's hard to know which person's stick made it work. <laughs> <laughs> Telling Diane the kill's got to go an extra day, an extra half a day, half a day for sure. But that won't be this time. Is that next year? Extra half. Next year. Ah, we'll do it. Oh, sorry. Boy, there's a lot of those. Um. I fire it for them as much as for myself, but if the kill's big enough that there's room for everybody to have plenty in it, I think it works out great. It's about yeah. the right size. The big difficulty with it is, other than spending a week firing it, oh, I forgot about a couple of weeks of preparing the wood. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then, uh, but the big thing is getting enough pieces to fill the thing up. Mm -hmm. And that's one of my motivations for making things in this scale. Is that uh, helps it's fill empty it now. You guys want to take a look in there? Fairly fast. Or faster. <clears throat> but it's the kind of thing I could never do by myself. Hey, you got some super, super, super uh, texture there. And what would be like that? Is that? Yeah, that was. So it's the top. Yeah, but to catch that texture that you have. Yeah, it's nice. And then to disorient it and put it horizontal. Yeah. There, that's a tight body. Yeah. That's just a good one. That's a good one. Okay. Yes. There was. 
Look at that ash bed. It's a good clay body, boy. It's really good. It's, uh, that one is uh, it's called flashing glass. I like that one. It's really good. It's really good. It's really good. That's nice. Yeah. Isn't that lovely? So, uh, so understated pastels are coming yeah. through. Chad should like that. I've and never seen, I've never seen pink bottles, out of a wood kiln before. Yeah. I've gotten purple from an Aribe, but that was about it. We got pink one time when we fired with molding, and they had some copper sprayed molding. Huh. I mean, a gold, I mean, it was a gold molding, but it had <laughs> copper in, in it, and so we had pink throughout the kill. Not just, not just for that firing, but for the four firing <laughs> Oh, really? Oh, yeah, wow. It just wouldn't go away. Oh, funny. <laughs> Nick Lehman. We should shoot that one with the shotgun. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Because the memory of so, that, such beauty can only be better than that. <laughs> <laughs> the actual actual product. Right. You'll never see it again. <laughs> God, I remember that piece being really nice. Oh well, we shot it. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. I need the I There's one behind it, couldn't tell if they were together or not. This is a plum glaze from uh, one of my undergraduate professors. Yeah, it's, it's really not hard to do it with. is an independent piston, so to speak, but both sides work the same. Mm -hmm. So we fire both sides with that. Big trick is how much fuel you put in, how long you wait, when do you do that, and then this is an independent stoke on the front, this six feet of the firebox. Then we're throwing in most of a wheelbarrow for every 15 or 20 minutes. Front. So that's the primary drive, and then you're supplementing it with the, the side. And it's all about timing, and uh, everybody naturally wants to put in more fuel to the hopper. Seems to make sense. But what happens is the ash builds up, and then it starts running all the way to the rich, and we actually start losing temperature on these pyrometers. So it's just a real delicate balance. And it always it keeps changing just when you think you've got to figure it out, then it'll have to be treated a little bit differently. So psychologically, it ends up, and when you're tired, it ends Oh, 
That's yours? Yeah, I'm assuming it's trash, right? Hey, Jake. Here's that haystack where it got hit really hard with salt. You can see it, what it does. This one, it's actually nice, but you can see it ran everywhere. Oh, okay, yeah. But it turns really nice. Yeah, that's the, that's the texture I really like. Yeah. Where was this one at? Back on the floor? Yeah, I was back, yeah. Gross. Why would you refine? Wait, where or why? Why? Uh, to get this stuff to flux out a little better, um, so it'll be glossier. Put it in the soda kiln. Um, essentially, just fire it the exact same way. Um, and stuff like that, like how it chipped off, it'll melt down. And so. This didn't, this, so this is slightly underfired. So help yourself. Isn't that great? That's just like out of my basement. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is maybe one of the nicer things. No, no, this one's not bad, it's just a bottom. So don't use it. Okay. Mm -hmm. See this crack right there, too. Oh, thank you. You can hear it? Uh huh. Anybody well, I don't know what they're supposed to say. You pulled on it really hard. Oh, it's just kind of like dingy. That's really dull. Kind of. It sounds like it's made out of wood or something. Mm -hmm. We gotta oogle just a little first. Thanks. 